Then this person says, to wrap things up, you lady. <clears throat> I can't believe I said that. Hey, it's Lance McGowan here, and today I'm going to read off a Reddit post that basically talks about somebody who almost got cussed out at a food bank because they were trying to do a class about Young Living. I mean, whoa. Okay, so this is on the anti-MLM, <laughs> what else, right? The anti-MLM subreddits here, and the title is Young Living Hun asks if, 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 asks if she can provide a class for participants on the nonprofit I work at, which provides services for families experiencing poverty. All right, so that kind of gives you a good idea of what's going on. But here's what they had to say, okay? It's going to get interesting, especially towards the end, because they, they go in on them. They said, I was invited to a local Chamber of Commerce event as their charity partner where I collected donations of food and clothing and gave a little pitch about giving back and all the things my organization does. Oh, sounds nice. So far, so good, right? Okay, here we go. After my speech, I went back to my collection table and had quite a few good intended business people approach and offer services for our families in need. I have a pet supply store and can donate pet food. I'd like to offer plumbing discounts, etc. Okay, okay, so far so good still. Okay, they said, I just do fundraising, so generally I say thank you and politely offer to pass their info to our partner director to see if those services would fit our programs and needs of our participants. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, this is where the plot thickens or plot twists here. We're going to see. Here we go. Then, one woman asks if we offer any classes, especially about health. I say, well, yes, we do. We do cooking classes about how to cook cheap, healthy meals. All right, okay. Parenting classes that reduce abuse and neglect. Okay. And then blah, blah, blah. And she replies, that's wonderful, because I teach classes about how to take care of your body and stay healthy, dot, dot, dot. Then proceeds to tell me she sells Young living. Mm. Girl, let me tell you, girl. Let me, no, okay. And wants to come teach our families who are poor. P O O R. About all these natural oils, which are a gift from God. Well, God created everything, so that would include you and I, as well as other stuff, but okay, I mean, anyways. We're going to continue here. And she's sure many of them have health problems and their lives would be easier if she could just show them how to live healthy using these oils. I mean, my initial reaction just to that, just so we can like process a little bit, is that some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. Sounds like this person is like, look, these people ain't got no money. So if you're going to do anything, just come and just like help teach a class, maybe not oils, because I don't, I guess, you know, obviously she's anti-MLM, or they're anti-MLM, so I get it, but at the same time, everyone has a need, everyone has goals and wants, but not everyone has realized their need and is looking for something, and it meets what their price parameters are, right? So those three things are kind of what to keep in mind, pre-qualification questions would help, but at the same time, at least this person with the nonprofit knows what the other person wants to do. Now let's see what happened next. They said, I didn't let her get too far before cutting her off. Mm, rude. In my most obnoxious, cheery voice and big smile to keep from screaming. Mm, sounds like they need some oils for relaxation, calmness, and chilling out. Okay and said the same thing I told everyone else. Thank you so much. It's not my debt department, yeah. But I'll pass this along. The only thing holding my tongue was that I couldn't make a scene in front of my potential donors. Okay, good job with the self-restraint. Not so much on the reasonability and like... Okay. 
but I promptly threw her lavender Bible quoted business card in the trash when I got home. Well, I guess you showed her. Yeah, showed her who's boss. Yeah, okay. Then this person says, to wrap things up, you lady. <clears throat> I can't believe I said that. I apologize. We need to keep this family friendly, but this person, anger management classes, for real. For trying to take advantage of people who are coming to a food bank. Also, you're the salesperson in the world. Whew. Wow. Those are some uh, strong words you used in here. All right, I had to bleep, you know, a lot of that out, okay? Because YouTube, family friendly, policies, this, don't mix, okay? Like oil and water. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so then there's, you know, some comments. Comments, as you can see, all up, all up in here. Link will be in the description so you can read that. This, that's where the smackdown, you know, it goes down, down there, you know. Um, mm, mm, mm. I'll save, you know, save you the, the harsh, deconstructive criticisms. But I will, you know, I'll just say that not everyone is open to essential oils or MLMs or being taught. And I get that it was a food bank. It's low income or poverty stricken families and individuals. I get that. So maybe instead of a class on that, what could be offered or asked the question is, are you open to natural solutions? Start off with that. It has nothing to do with essential oils or anything else. And see what they say. And then say, you know, have you used essential oils yourself? So then it's not focused on anybody else but that individual. And then see, you know, have you heard of that company, Young Living, whatever. Then go from there. So you're gauging how open they are. And if that person is just... Mm, Mm. You know, if they, you know, they're giving that vibe like they're not open to that, then you can be like, all right, well, it's great talking with you. Have a great day. You know, just keep it moving, right? If they're not moving towards you, then they're moving away. So then you talk to the next person. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you did. Hit subscribe for future video updates. And most importantly, check out the links in the description below so you can read this Reddit post in the comments, as well as continue to get your learn on. And I'll see you in the next video.